Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this new newsboy hat. Now I'm not, I don't wear newsboy hats. They're not really my style, but I really love them and I think they look great on people, just not particularly me. Um, so this hat will probably get donated or something, but I think that it turned out really well. Um, I have a few new newsboy hats on my channel. And I have to say this is probably my favorite one so far. So it's, uh, the, got the button on this side that flaps up that button sewed together there so that won't come undone so this side is left straight of the brim and this side is curved um the stitch that's used it's just a half double crochet but it's just done wrapped just a little bit different to make it look give it a little bit different of effect but it's very very easy to do yeah i think it turned out quite nice what do you guys think do you like it you guys like it? Can I pull it off? No? Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> but I do I do like it. And I think that uh, newsboy hats look great on people. But uh, you guys want to go ahead and do it? Beginners, you can do it. Just follow along with me. All right? Let's do it. All right. So here I'll give you another li little quick close look up at it. Uh, the stitch. Here's the stitch itself. I said it's just like a half double, but... You just kind of cross over the front and sit it back. I'll show you how to do it. It's actually really easy. But it just gives it a little bit different of a look than a regular half double. The brim is curved on this side. And then, like I said, it's straight here. So you can attach that button. But I think that it turned out pretty good for a newsboy hat. So this will fit, you know, this will fit a... Uh, probably 21 22 inch uh head that's about the size it's gonna fit okay now for this project i used this yarn i got from fair isle um it's the kodiak yarn now it is a 100 percent super wash wool so it's a 100 percent wool yarn you don't have to use this yarn you don't have to use wool yarn any medium weight four yarn will work. So any, you could use medium weight four acrylic, medium weight four cotton, any of them will work just fine. If you don't have this yarn, don't worry about it. Um, but there's 157 yards per skein, and this is what I have left of my skein, so I'm gonna, so just to make sure that you have enough, I'm gonna say 145, 150 yards, probably something like that is what you're gonna need of any medium weight number four. Um, the color I have of this, in case you're interested, is called Lake number 548. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Alright, we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. You can work the magic circle here if you prefer. But I'm going to start off with a chain of four. Now I am going to slip stitch into my first chain to form a ring. Just like that. Now I'm going to be working half double crochets, but I'm going to work them a little different than normal. So I'm going to start off with a chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. So I'm going to work 10 half doubles through the center of my ring, but we're going to do um, an um, under half double crochet. So instead of going over your hook and going through the loop like you would do for a regular half double, we're going to go wrap the hook, wrap the yarn like that. Hold it there and then you go through, draw up a loop, and then you go through all three loops like that and we're going to do that again so remember we're not yarning over like that going over like that got to hold it and then go in and draw up a loop yarn over and go through all three loops like that we want to do that ten times so I have done it twice already so again now, if you don't hold it, it's going to slip off your hook, so make sure you hold it there. Okay. 
And there's three. There's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. It might be a little difficult at first to get used to it, but it's really not that hard. It's actually pretty easy once you get to going. So, uh, we got ten half double crochets here uh, um, at the end of round one. So, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first one like that and that'll end round one now we are going to chain one and we're going to put two of those half double crochets in every stitch around but remember we're doing it just a little bit different we're just going over the top of the hook and holding it and going into that same stitch there that we just went into and draw up a loop then we yarn over and go through all three and we're going to do the same thing in the same stitch again That. so there's two in that stitch now we're going to move to the next stitch there's one in that one and we want to we want to put two in each one so there's two in that one oops sometimes you <laughs> I about messed up and did a regular half double it happens two into the next If you're having trouble getting the look of this uh, half double, you can do it regular style. It'll still, um, I mean, it won't look like mine, but it will still work the same. It'll just look like regular half double crochets. So I need to put two into this one. And I'm going to put two into each stitch all the way around. like that so I'm going to continue to put two in every stitch until I get back to my starting point okay I've made it to the end of round two and we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first uh not the chain one that we did but the first um half double crochet it's actually it's just it's a half double it's just like a different it's a variant on it um you're just going like I said, you're just going, instead of wrapping over like that, you're wrapping over the top and holding it. You could do that with single crochets and stuff, and it just makes your stitch look a little different. Alright, so now we're going to start 20 stitches now. Now we're going to start round 3 by chaining 1. Now we're going to go ahead and put 1 into the very, very first stitch. That. Now the next stitch, we're going to put 2 into the same stitch. And then the next stitch, we're going to put one. And then the next stitch, we're going to put two into the same stitch. And that's the repeat now for round three. So one into the next. And then two into the next. one into the next and then two into the next one into the next 
and then two into the next. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around, Oops, back to the beginning. One, then two, one, then two, all the way around until you get back to your starting point. All right, once you make it to the end of a round three, you should have two stitches in your last stitch and you should have a total of 30 stitches now. So we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first half double there, like that. Now we're gonna start round four by chaining one. And now what we wanna do is we wanna work one half double into the first stitch one into the next and then the next one will have two into the same stitch so we're going to start off by putting one into that very first stitch that we slip stitched into and then the one into the next remember we're wrapping around the front holding it going in so that's two in a row now the next one is going to be two into the same stitch And that's the kind that's the repeat now for round four. One into the next stitch. One into the next stitch. And then two into the next. Repeat it again. One into the next stitch. One into the next stitch, and then two into the next. And that's the pattern I'm going to repeat now for round four. One, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round four. And your last stitch should have had two stitches in it, and now you should have a total of 40 stitches. So we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first stitch here. And now we're going to start round five by chaining one. And now it's going to be one stitch, one stitch, one stitch, two stitches. So three stitches in a row, and then two into the next stitch. So we're going to go ahead and start off by putting one into that very first stitch that we slip stitched into. And then one into the next. And then one into the next. So that was three in a row. And now two stitches into the next. Like that. Again, one into the next three stitches. So there's one, two, three, and then two into the next. One into the next three, And then two into the next. That. Now I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. One, 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 two, one, 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 two, until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round five. 50 stitches now. Should have ended with two there in your last stitch. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first stitch. Now let's do it again for round six. We are going to chain one, and now we're gonna do four in a row, and then two into the next stitch. So we'll start by putting our first one right here where we slip stitched. So there's one, two, three and there's four and now the next stitch is going to get two into the same stitch like that 
Okay, we'll do it again. Four in a row. There's one. Two. Three. Four. And then two in the next. And there's one. And two. So that's the pattern we're going to repeat now for round six. Four in a row and then two into the next. Four in a row again and then two into the next all the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, I have made it to the end of round six. 60 stitches. You should have ended with two into your last stitch. We're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first stitch. Now we're not going to be doing any more increases. We're going to start round seven by chaining one. And now we're just going to work one of those um, half double crochets in every stitch all the way around. And that's what we're going to do now for um, the rest of the hat. So we'll start by putting one right here into the very first stitch. So just like that. And now I'm going to work along putting one in every stitch all the way around. So no more increasing now. That's it on the increasing. So just like this. One in every stitch until you get back to your starting point. Oops. I keep trying to yarn over instead of, or yarn over like that instead of going over the top. But that's okay. All right, I've made it to the end of round seven, and I still should have my 60 stitches. I'll always have 60 stitches now. And I wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first stitch. Now I'm just gonna keep repeating round seven. We're gonna chain one, and we're just gonna be working one of those over the top half doubles all the way around, back to the beginning. And we're gonna keep doing that until we get our hat a little bit longer. And we'll always have 60 stitches at the end of every round. The more rounds you do, your hat will start to look like a hat eventually. The sides will start to come down. So right now we're on a round eight. We're just working one in every stitch all the way back around to the beginning. And then I'll end it the same way I did round seven, slip stitching into my first stitch. And then I'll start again doing the same thing. Remember, 60 stitches at the end of every round. And I'm just going to keep going until I get my hat the length I need it to be. It's starting to come down a bit now. All right. I repeated round seven until I have reached a total of 18 rounds and that's starting from round one all the way down until round 18. Now I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn off. I just ended there with a slip stitch and now if you want to leave it as a regular hat that's fine. You can just stop right here or you can do another row if you want to make it longer. That's up to you. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the brim on it newsboy type brim this wool really picks up some hair don't it <laughs> okay uh, all right so now we're going to start the brim so counting this stitch here that we slip stitched into counting that as number one we're going to count over 16 stitches and then we're going to start our yarn there so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Start our yarn in that 16th stitch. And this is going to be the bill of the hat or the brim or whatever it's called. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start our yarn there. And we are going to chain one. 
Now we want to go back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Now we're going to work over 30 stitches. That counts as number one, okay? So what we're going to do is put one single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch until we went over 30 stitches. So we've done two already. One, two, and then we're going to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and keep going. One single crochet, there's nine, until you reached 30 stitches. There's 10. 11, 12. All right, I've made it here uh, the, of row one of my brim and I have 30 single crochets. So now we're gonna start row two and we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're gonna put some increases here on the brim. So I am going to put one single crochet into the first three stitches. So we go right back into this very first stitch and we put a single crochet. So there's one, and then we put one into the next, that would be two, and then one into the next, that would be three. So we have three single crochets in a row. Now the next stitch, we're gonna put two single crochets into the same stitch. And that's what we're gonna repeat now for row two. So one single crochet into the next three. There's one, two, three, and then two single crochets into the next. Again, one single crochet into the next three. There's one, two, three, and then two singles into the next. And we want to repeat this until we get to the last uh, two stitches. One, two, three, and then two singles into the next. Okay, I have repeated that and I have two stitches left. I just did two single crochets in that stitch and now I have two left. So I'm gonna put one single crochet into the last two stitches. And now you'll have a total of 37 stitches. So for row two. So for row three, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. Now I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch across. Starting, I'm gonna go right back into this very first stitch. And I'm just gonna continue working one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of the row. So I won't be increasing anymore now. Okay, I made it to the end of row three of my brim. 37 stitches still. Let's repeat it again. Let's chain one and turn for row four. And we are gonna work one single crochet in every stitch starting right here in this very first spot. And we're gonna work across doing one single in each stitch. Just repeat, for row four, we're just repeating what we did on row three. Alrighty, I made it to the end of row four, 37 stitches still. Now, one side I'm going to leave straight. That way I can flap it up and put a button there. But the other side I'm going to decrease when I get there. So we're on row five. So what we're gonna do is chain one and turn. Now we're gonna work one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the last three stitches of our row. All right, I'm coming to the end of round five and I or row five of the brim and I have three stitches left. I'm gonna single crochet all three of those together. So I'm gonna go in to the first one and drop a loop. And then I'm gonna go into the next one and drop a loop. And then I'm gonna go into the last one and drop a loop. 
I'll have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all four loops. That took three stitches and made it into one. So now at the end of row five, you should have 35 stitches. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. So for row six, now I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch, starting with this very first one until I get to the end of the row. All right, I've made it to the end of round six. And remember, we're leaving this side flat, so we won't be decreasing this side. So you still should have 35 stitches. So for round seven, I'm gonna chain one and turn. And I am going to repeat what I did on round five. So I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my last three stitches. So starting with this very first one, and I'm gonna work across, putting one single in every stitch until I get to my last three. Okay, I made it to my last three stitches here and I'm gonna go ahead and do a single crochet decrease over those last three. So I'm gonna go into the next one, drop a loop, into the next one, drop a loop, and then to the last one and drop a loop, four loops, yarn over and go through all four. And I should have 33 stitches now across. What I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and tie off right here. Clip my yarn and tie off. Okay, so I'm not done yet though. I'm gonna do one more thing here. So that's kind of what it looks like so far. Don't worry, we're gonna straighten it up with some single crochet. And remember, we'll button that up a bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start in the back, kind of where you, just somewhere around where you tied off the main part. Okay, so like I said, anywhere along the back, it's your hat facing this way, so your stitches are facing the right way. There's the brim right out here, looking kind of funky, but we'll get her fixed up, I hope anyways. So I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna start over here a little bit so I can hide that tail as I go right here. It's fine. Anywhere actually back here is fine. I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna go back into the same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch until I get up to the brim part. What we're doing is one final finishing round of single crochet. Clean it all up. Hopefully it, it works. Works out for me, huh? Sorry, I'm just trying to hide them tails as I go. All right, just continue working until you get to the brim, which I'm almost at. Okay, so I'm at the brim. And I'm gonna just kind of work one single crochet up the sides here. Just do the best that you can to try to get one in, at the end of each row. Um, I'm gonna put one here where this, there is a stitch here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put another one there. And then I'm gonna work up the sides, try to get one at the end of each row. Okay, so when you get to the top here, I'm gonna put two stitches in the last stitch on this side and then two stitches in the first stitch on this side. That'll help it just kind of round the corner. So two stitches in the last stitch on this side and then over here on the top, two stitches in the top stitch or the very first stitch on top. That just helps the corner round out a little bit better like that. Now I'm gonna work across putting one single crochet in every stitch across the brim 
until I get to the other side of the brim. All right, now I made it over here to the corner. Now what we're gonna do is just try our best to evenly space out single crochets to kind of round this corner out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, just do your best. You don't have to put it in the exact same spot I do, but I'm just gonna try to do my best to round this corner, putting one single crochet, trying to, at the end of each row. There we go. Now your stitches might be a little different than mine around this corner, and that's fine. As long as, you know, you, the number of stitches you have here might be a little bit different, but that's fine. Like, like I said, as long as you did your best to try to round that corner like that. There we go. That don't look too bad. If it starts to flip up on you too much, you would just need to pull out and maybe add another stitch in there, and then it should lay out flat, but and there we go. Now I'm just going to continue around the back here until I get back to my starting point. And then when you make it to the end, we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. Now I'm not going to count my stitches because like I said it doesn't really matter how many you have as long as you did your best to kind of uh, space your single crochets around the corner and up the sides here evenly as possible that will be fine. So now you want to go ahead and clip your yarn and hide any remaining tails that you have. All right now for the button this is what it looks like so far. We just kind of want to fold this flat flap up a bit and sew a button on of your choice. Do it like that. You can use just use a piece of yarn and a yarn needle and sew it together like that. And that's how it will look. Now you can try this hat on and adjust to where you want your button to be. Maybe you want it to be high up. Maybe you want it to be a little bit lower. I'm kind of just flapping it over uh, even with the first row kind of like that and then that's where I'll put my button like that and then you just sew it on you can use like I said yarn and yarn needle a regular thread and needle get that sewed on okay one other thing I'm doing you don't have to do this if you don't want to um, is taking my yarn and my yarn needle I'm kind of just putting a few stitches to hold this down just so it doesn't the sides doesn't don't flap over just back and forth a couple here and there doesn't have to be perfect just to kind of hold it in its place. The button will probably hold it, but just in case, just to ensure it. There we go. Now we know it won't flap around. And button goes on. And then it'll be finito. All right, here it is on my mannequin. Looks pretty good, I think. I think it turned out quite well. So there's the side. The button turned out pretty good too. I didn't know about that, but there's the other side. And here's the front facing view. I like it. I think it looks really good. I hope you guys like it too. And I hope you were able to follow along okay. You know, if you make this, I'd really, really love to see a picture of it. I always like to see pictures of what everybody makes from my tutorials. I like to see it in different colors and stuff like that. Um, you can post a picture on my uh, Facebook page or you can follow me on Instagram, tag me in it there. Um, there's links to both of those in the description box if you want to check them out. And if you like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That I really appreciate it. Maybe a share. And don't forget to subscribe either. That way you don't miss any of my tutorials. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day.